Now, the problem becomes that humans are not bacteria. Bacteria can make a fairly dramatic mutation and then come back later and correct it. To become resistant to certain types of antibiotics, some bacteria will eliminate an enzyme or a transport protein. Just get rid of it. Now, if a human got rid of a certain enzyme or transport protein, we'd probably die. If we didn't die, we certainly wouldn't be very healthy. The bacteria may experience some loss of health, shall we say, but it survives the antibiotic. Mm -hmm. And then once the antibiotic is gone, it starts making that again. It regenerates. Humans can't do that so easy. We can't just shut things on and off like that. And particularly because we're, our generation time is, you know, every 20 years, not every 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Bacteria, because of the generation time, they can reproduce very quickly and they can pay what is called cost of selection. If I were to expose a large container of bacteria to a very, very traumatic environmental condition, like starve them for an amino acid, I may kill 99.9999% of that population of bacteria. But the next day, those few that are left that have the mutation that allows them to compensate for, you know, lack of a particular amino acid in the media, mm -hmm. they've regrown and the whole population is restored again. Just boom, just like that. Whereas with humans, if you wipe out 99.99999% of the humans, first off, that's a potential extinction event. Mm -hmm. But second off, even if we do ex even if we do survive, how many centuries and millennia will it take for us to re cover from mm -hmm. that. See, so bacteria can pay that extremely high cost of selection where you eliminate almost all of them, but a few survive and the population returns back very quickly and voila, evolution has occurred. Mm -hmm. That's what we're told. Mm -hmm. And I can't really do that in humans and in dogs and in cows and such. They don't respond that way. So what works for bacteria doesn't really work very well for animals, but because bacteria is so easy to study, they like to extrapolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm.